After living on the road for two years, we've seen some really beautiful places from oceans to mountains and deserts to forest. We often get the question asked, what is your favorite place? The answer is easy, Little Rock, Arkansas. Before we sold our house and everything that we owned to travel full time, we called Little Rock our home. And when we started this journey, we did not know how much we'd appreciate what we'd left behind. Now there's a million reasons why we love this city, but we can't cover them all in this video alone. So we're just gonna show you as much as we can today. Now, Little Rock is the state capital of Arkansas, but it's not one of the biggest metropolitan areas in the United States. The city limits alone only has a population of 221,000 people, and the metro area, barely over 700,000. So it's not that crowded here. And with a population that small, it makes it really easy to get around. been a long time follower of this channel you know that we love ice cream so we're gonna take you to one of our favorite only small batch ice cream parlors in the city now we are in an area of downtown Little Rock it is called Soma and it is short for South on Main now we're gonna go to Lob Lolly Creamery and it is so good. Oh my gosh, y'all, I just can't even get over. I've been missing this ice cream for, I feel like years now. Two scoops of the birthday cake. Two scoops of the pecan pie. Please. Thank you so much. <laughs> so Kelly had to get more ice cream mm -mm -mm. for the future. So this is probably one of the best honey lavenders in the world, hands down. How's that? Just as good as I remember. It's like I just took a bite into a pecan pie, like straight up pecan pie. We are now in West Little Rock, which is where our favorite coffee shop is located. This is Guillermo's. And I know if you've been watching our channel for a while, you know that this is the only coffee we drink. After all of our travels, we have tried different coffees. We like our coffee in the morning with breakfast. And this one just seems to steal our heart. Well, I can tell you why. It's so smooth. For, it is. It's yeah. just so smooth. No we, we drink espresso and it's just the best. Good, how are you doing, brother? Good to see all the good stuff. How are y'all? Good. I did these for Holiday House. Yeah. Great to see you. You got everything? Yes. You're all loaded up? Yep. Oh, yeah. We're ready. <laughs> We're ready for our next adventure. There you go, honey. Thank you so much for the coffee. You're welcome, guys. You. It was great to see y'all. You too. Safe. On to the next destination. Let's do it. One of the best ways to see the beauty of Little Rock area is on the water. And we thought no better way to do this than to be on a boat on the Arkansas River for sunset. And that's gonna require warmer clothes because the sunset means it's going to be getting cooler. It's already cooling off. Still feels good out here, but I know that I'm gonna be cold for sure. Now, this is a one hour sunset tour on a pontoon boat on the Arkansas River. Did he send you a code? Oh, did he? Did he? I don't know. So the guy you're fisting to meet is a good friend of ours. He owns this kayak rental company called Rocktown River Outfitters. And not only do they do pontoon boats, they do kayak rentals, paddleboard rentals, everything that you can think of water related on the Arkansas River. And he just texted me. I got the code, babe. I heard it go. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Gotta be smarter than the equipment you're working with. So Sam said he wasn't here yet, but these are the kayaks that they rent right here. 
And you also get to kayak under all the bridges downtown when they're lit up at night from this location. From what I've heard, that's really cool because the lights from the bottom of the bridges will be lighting up and you're just in a psychedelic world of color, I guess. So Sam finally showed up. This is my brother from another mother. And he <laughs> taught me the phrase, words are hard because I can't ever pronunciate anything correctly like I just did. Nailed it. Nailed it. So tell us about the pontoon party barge new endeavor because he just used to rent kayaks and paddle boards and now they're doing the party yeah. barge. So we started doing kayak tours in 2017. We just realized that we were missing some people. And some of those people wanted to go out and experience this, but maybe didn't want to paddle as much. We started doing party barge tours so we can show anybody that wants to get out here and experience this, you can come out here and get to hop on our 26 foot pontoon boat by a guided captain. So you can just sit back and relax all from the comfort of a couple of cushioned seats. So uh, let's go play. Alrighty. Yeah. Sam is newly married and this is his lovely wife, Holly. She'll be joining us today, so this will be fun. I know her. Y'all, that was an amazing sunset. We just couldn't get over it. But we're over here a little chilly. I got my shawl. Are you shaking? Cody has a shawl. I've, we've all got blankets here. And Sam is just, I was gonna, I was gonna say raw dogging, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at his, <laughs> yeah look Sam at his is all good. He's barefoot. I'm natural. He's I, the captain. I drank all the hot chocolate on accident before y'all got here. So <laughs> I'm, I'm great. I apologize, but I'm glad I got you guys some blankets. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're warm tell. now, but we are now going to head downtown because we need to see the lights on the bridge. Which we didn't even know this was going to be a part of the tour. We just thought we were going to go see the sunset, see the beautiful mountains off in the west part of Little Rock. And I was joking earlier about maybe we get to see it one day. I didn't know we were really going to see this. Lucky for you, I don't joke. Sam had to bring us out here for a surprise. We had no idea this was going on, but there is a light show behind us on both of these bridges. A lot of the bridges in downtown Little Rock are lit up with LED lights. And a lot of people don't realize that every hour on the hour, there's a light show where all the bridges of downtown synchronize and create a beautiful show right here on the Arkansas River. The first clip that you saw of us at the very beginning of this video was on this very bridge right here. So this bridge is one of the first bridges that cross the Arkansas River in this area. And exactly where it crosses over, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I love the bridge, but it is going over the actual rock feature that Little Rock got its name from. But the base is a rock that the very first French explorers that were coming up the Arkansas River saw this rock outcrop and that's how Little Rock got its name because it was the very first rock they had seen since they left New Orleans coming up. Now that we had that wonderful boat ride, we're both starving. We decided to go get a bite to eat. Now, Little Rock has a ton of delicious restaurants and this is just one of those restaurants that we enjoy. So we're at Brood and Barley and we have eaten here several times. It's kind of a Southern style mix of food. We love this place, we love it. And also, Holly and Sam are gonna meet us for dinner because we need to catch up. We just met Holly and we haven't talked to Sam in a very long time. And this is a great place to do it. Oh, thank you. Both of the shells. 
Thank you. Are you more of a white or a red? Red. I think that we just change it as we get older. I mean, I'm no different too with other things. That's beautiful. Mm hmm. So good. You get all your veggies. Oh, oh look at that. That's uh, so beautiful, Sam. And I know they're working on getting a new climbing gym. Good morning, everybody. We had so much fun last night catching up with an old friend and meeting a new one. And that boat ride, you've got to do it if you come to this region. We're gonna list his information in the description below. It is Rocktown River Outfitters. And this morning we woke up at Maumel Campground, which is inside the city limits of West Little Rock. We stay here every now and then when we wanna do things close to town. And so that way we do not have a long drive, which brings me into what we're gonna take you to today. Today we're gonna go to one of the most iconic rock formations in the Little Rock area. Now, one of the things that made us fall in love with the Little Rock region is all the outdoor wreck there is. If you've been following us for a while, you've seen us do mountain biking, you've seen us do a ton of water activities, but if you're coming to Little Rock and you only have a short amount of time, you have to climb Pinnacle Mountain. It is the most iconic land feature in the Little Rock region. And what makes it the most iconic land feature is it kind of looks like a volcano. However, it's not really a volcano. There has been controlled burns here in the past and people have called the police thinking that it was about to explode. Wasn't. It's just an eroded mountain is all it is. Now, Pinnacle Mountain has two trails going up to the top. There's the East Summit, which is the harder summit. There's more boulders. It's shorter, but very intense. Then there's the West Summit. It's a lot more gradual. It's a little bit longer of a hike, but it's not gonna be as intense as the East. Now, when Kelly and I lived here in Little Rock, we climbed this thing, what, two, three times a week sometimes? Uh, yeah, it just depend on the weather and what time of year it was, but this was a normal after work workout activity that we would do. As we're hiking Pinnacle Mountain, Cody has on his adventure shirt. Yeah, you've probably seen me wear this before, but this is Pinnacle Mountain and you're gonna come here for a real adventure. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's one of his favorite shirts. I used to have one and it was super dingy. I need to get me another one. What makes the East Summit so much more difficult is we just had a short walk to the base. Now, it's just straight up. The majority of this hike, you're bouldering or scrambling across the top of boulders. And it's actually my favorite part. What we're hiking up right now is a rock glacier glacial field. So much like a glacier field, these rocks are slowly moving down, knocking down trees and anything else in their way. But it takes a really long time. The chances of Kelly and I actually seeing a big change in this rock glacial field is very, very unlikely. Good thing too, because I would be scared if all this started shifting under my feet. Not easy but when you get to the top it's all worth it These views from up here are gorgeous. And I wish that it was a sunny day today, but you can still see for miles. If you're looking this direction, you can see downtown, you can see the big damn bridge. We keep going this way. You can see all the neighborhoods and Chenal Mountain right there with the towers. If you look over in this direction, you can see all the mountains and rolling hills of the Washita National Forest. And then you can also see closer to us, we've got Rattlesnake Ridge and Blue Mountain right behind it. Now we're gonna walk down a little ways over here and you can get a view of the Arkansas River. Kelly, you just walked over a tarantula. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, I didn't even see it. Oh, that's a black one. 
Now this time of year, male tarantulas are out in search of females because females just, they're actually larger than the males. So this is a small spider compared to the females, but the females never get out of their burrows. Very, very harmless spiders. Unless you're like me, a few years ago, one crawled up the inside of my pants and bit me through my pants because I squeezed my pants thinking it was a bunch of leaves on the inside and it turned out it was a tarantula crawling up my pants leg and I scared it as much as it scared me and it bit through my pants. It, it must have crawled up my pants leg as recently because it was in our, yeah, because it was in our. That's what I'm, I was wondering. I'm like, don't tell me that something like that was in our tent in our clothes box no, because wasn't. that's going to freak me out. I'm freaked out. I just had a freaking tarantula crawling up my pants on the inside. <laughs> God. But it only drew a little blood on my thumb. And if you want to see how big the spider is, there's my hand compared to the tarantula right there. After being bitten by one, I've lost my fear of spiders. I used to have a little fear, I don't anymore. Now that we're over here, you get a great view of Lake Maumelle. That's the water source for Little Rock. And if you remember a couple of vlogs ago, we hiked the East Quarry Trail and is located right over here dead east of Pinnacle Mountain. That mountain used to be as tall as the mountain we're on right now. They cut everything away from it, relocated it over here to build the dams, and that's how Lake Maumelle was formed. But here's the funny thing about the name of Lake Maumelle. Maumelle in French means breast. So you used to have two mountains the same size with the nickname of Maumelle because they were breasted shaped mountains. So we've showed you some of our favorite things to do in the Little Rock region. Now the most valuable thing to us is what lies just 30 minutes west of here. It's the 1.8 million acre Washita National Forest. Washita Mountains really have a special place in Kelly's in my heart because this is the place where I first introduced Kelly to camping, which eventually led to going on more adventures, then starting a YouTube channel, and then eventually going full time and traveling the country, all because of these Washita Mountains. But can we really live here full time all year? The answer is no. You can, don't get me wrong, but the fact that we live in 30 square feet of space, the winters do get brutal here at least into January, February, and the summers are brutal. I think the last two years, it did not dip below 80 degrees. That's during the day and at night for at least three or four months. So if we had a home, then yes, we could. One day, eventually we will settle down and Little Rock will probably be where that happens. As of right now, we are not gonna be settling down anywhere. We're still gonna be traveling in our truck camper because we do love to travel. But you will see us here quite often in the fall and spring because it's the best time to really be in Arkansas. It's the perfect, perfect weather. Perfect, love it. But however, we got camp set up. We're gonna be chilling here tonight and we'll catch you on the other. See ya.